Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chris, and this is my channel, Bar None 11970. And I had an amazing dream last night that I want to share that I think will answer questions for, I can't say everybody, but those who kind of get where I'm going. And you'll understand that if you watch this video. Now, um, the one thing I've noticed in the past year or so like, my dreams have been basically sending me messages, or at least it makes me feel literally like I'm somewhere else. Like, a dream could seem like it lasts for years, and it's amazing. And a lot of times, especially recently, and probably in the last six or seven months, I've been having dreams that kind of answer questions, which I find that interesting. So I don't remember every single detail, but I remember the most important parts of this. Basically, the dream starts out where I'm on a mission to go into hell and rescue somebody. Now, I don't know who the somebody is. That I don't remember. There's no face, or at least I don't remember. And the job was somehow, and I don't remember how I got there, but I was transported into hell. And what they basically warned me about is, you know, don't believe everything that you see. It's a trap. Otherwise, you could get stuck there. And are you willing to take the chance? So, of course, obviously in the dream I say yes and I, I go there. Now, it starts out the first place that I appear. I don't I just ended up appearing there. And the beginning of the dream, I don't really remember much. But um, it seems like it's a room where there's almost like a f fiery and brimstone and they're kind of trying to scare you into look where you are kind of thing. And they're like, you know, the devil's coming. You better be careful. He's going to get you. You should be scared. And I'm sitting there confident that, you know, there's no fear and I'll be perfectly fine. And even in the beginning, even though I feel fine, I'm like praying a little bit in the dream. And then comes along a person that's supposedly the devil. Now, it's not a horned person, it's not a hoofed person, it's just, it seems like a regular person. And at first he's trying to scare me. And it doesn't work. Long story short, he then says, alright, this was, that the, the initial time when somebody arrives here, the idea is to scare you. Doesn't explain why at first. So I explained to him that I'm here to rescue somebody. And he's a little shocked by that because no one's ever done it before. So after him trying several times to try and scare me into making me believe what's going on is real, he realizes that he can't do that. So he's like, all right, you really want to go find this person? I'll take you to them. So all of a sudden, I end up in what looks like a regular city. And it looks like any you know neighborhood anywhere in the world. There's buildings, there's people. The people are actually happy. They're not being tortured. Uh, there are people that have jobs. There are people who are dating and talking about how fun it is to be where they are. And, I, and I'm walking with this person who's the devil. And I say to him, is this really hell? And he's like, no, this is an illusion of hell. The real hell is where they go if they don't realize in a certain amount of time, he doesn't specify, that where they are, they control and he talks about the fact that the first stage of hell is an illusion where you're living in a city, you have a job, you're dating people, you're having a great time. But at any moment, you can leave. But you don't know you're in hell, so you stay. And if anybody tries to save you, you don't believe them. So basically what he's saying is you create your own personal hell based on a belief system. And you're free to go at any time. So as I'm walking wherever we're supposed to be going to rescue this person that I don't remember who it was, I'm looking around and I'm we're in like a park and there's apartment buildings all over the place, trees, look beautiful. And I said, okay, you're saying that this is just the illusion of hell and if they don't leave after a certain amount of time, they go to the real hell. Well, how many people have actually gotten out? A couple of thousand, couple of million over the lifetime of being here? How many have left? And he says, none, not a one. 
So because no one wants to believe where they are is really where they are. And most of them don't even know it. So they're going through their life just enjoying going through the motions, not knowing that they have the power, and they control whatever it is. See, what he says is that with fear and through influence, they can not force somebody to do something, but they can trick you into doing whatever you want because since you are a creator, whatever you believe in or not believe in creates your own reality. So the fact that the hell is actually just looking like a normal place and everybody's happy and having jobs and living in apartments, they could have it all if they only realize their true potential. So we end up in this apartment building and there's stairs going up. It's like, all right, this is where whatever person is that you want to meet. And I see on the one of the bottom steps is a package. It's like a long package. It's actually a Federal Express package, a long tubed package that was addressed to somebody. And I look at the address and I'm like, what is that, level 4200? And he's like, look again, it's level four, 42 million. So this person was living on the 42nd millionth floor. And he's like, do you really want to bring that package to them? And I'm like, yeah, it's doing something nice. And then I woke up. But basically, the way the dream is trying to explain to me, and it kind of puts things in perspective, and like I said, most people will just think, ah, it's just a stupid dream. There will be very few that will kind of understand where I'm going with this. That the trick is that you create your own reality. Like they say, either something matters or it doesn't matter. Well, what is everything made of? It's made of matter. So your belief system, and that's why I always say the word lie in belief, can be manipulated and can be influenced. Because if you believe something to be true, it becomes your truth. And if you believe something not to be true, that will also become your truth. And that's why you can have two people see the very same thing and end up with different perspectives and instead of each person what I like to call understanding that each perspective is valid they're spending their whole lives trying to say oh your perspective is wrong in other words like if you have a tube of toilet paper you know the cardboard tube at the end if you hold it with the circle like this and put a flashlight in front of it the image of the shadow on the wall will be a circle but if you take that tube and put it the long way and put the flashlight behind it well, the, ref the shadow on the wall is going to be a rectangle. Now, both are right. It depends on your perspective. But in this world, the person that sees the circle can't believe that somebody else is seeing a rectangle. And instead of understanding that it's a matter of perspective, they say, well, you're wrong. It's clearly a circle. And the person that sees the rectangle says, well, no, you're absolutely crazy. How could it be a circle when it's absolutely a rectangle? So, maybe, and again, I'm saying maybe because this is a dream, who knows, but what if this is the hell that they're talking about? Because the hell wasn't fire and brimstone. It wasn't a horned demon. It was regular people doing regular things that did not understand, or like I say, understand, that like Dorothy, you have the power to go home all along. Now, probably 90% of the people that watch this video will dismiss it. Probably the 1% will start to get it and maybe half of that 1% will totally understand what I'm talking about. And that your reality is based on your own perceptions and your own belief. Because whether you believe or don't believe, you don't know. So you could be easily swayed or persuaded or you can change your mind. I mean, how many people, you know, were told eggs are good for you, and then years later they tell you eggs are bad for you, and they go back and forth, and you believe it each time because it makes sense at that moment. Or somebody who maybe believes in whatever God they want, then all of a sudden has an experience where they say, you know, there is no God. So a belief can be influenced, can be changed. Because most of the information that we have is not stuff that we learned, especially when you're young. You don't have much wisdom when you're young. Or what we research, because most people don't tend to research, they have everything told to them. So, 
I found that dream very interesting, and it made me put things on a, just another perspective that you will basically, and there's my one of my cats, you will basically create your own world based on not your thoughts, because your thoughts are all about creating the feeling, because you can feel something and say something else. Like, you could be in a relationship where you really don't love somebody, you don't feel it in your heart, but you tell the person you love them regardless. So there's a difference between what you think and say and what you actually feel. Because sometimes, and it could be many times, they contradict each other. So it's not what your head thinks, although it will influence how your heart feels. So even though you have free will to do as you please and believe and create what you want, including nothing, and doubting everything, because if you doubt everything, you're always going to be having something verify your belief system. Like even somebody with either flat earth or round earth. If somebody believes that the earth is flat, well, they're going to get always have information coming to them that will make that their truth. And if somebody says, no, they're crazy, there's no way, they're going to attract things that always contradict what the other people believe in. And to each person, they both could feel they're 100% right. So your feelings and your emotions can actually betray you. Because we base things mostly on what we're told. Like even just look at God. Or whatever God it is. And I'm not saying anything specifically. Whatever you believe in is up to you. But how many of you have actually talked with whatever God you believe in? Most people base their religions on what others have told them. Because if you lived in China 500 years ago, you'd have a different God than if you grew up in Israel 20 years ago. So sometimes it's a matter of time and location and the people you're surrounded by that create that particular religion. Because I seriously doubt a person that worships Islam is going to have the same belief of the Christian faith but what if they were reversed in locations where that person that would have been born in Islam ended up being born in the Midwest in the 1800s you think they'd most likely be Islamic probably not so a lot of what affects our lives what we like what we don't like what we agree with what we don't agree with what we know is other people telling us. Maybe there's a, there's a reason why there are certain people in this world that try and control everyone. Because I always thought, you know, why is it that certain people... Because you notice, it's not the poor people that are changing the world. It's very wealthy people. It's people like the Soroses of the world and the Rothschilds of the world and the people with mega billions of dollars. You'd think they have it all. Why would they care about, you know, some Joe Schmo trying to make a couple of hundred grand to have a happy life? Well, maybe there's other reasons beyond the fact that maybe they're just overly greedy. I mean, they talk about things like having no place for people to live anymore, like the planet's too small. Well, all you have to do is just Google the ghost cities in China alone. And there are like 20 to 30 cities the size of Los Angeles that are completely empty. Well, that could hold a couple of million people right there. But people believe something because somebody else tells you it enough, and it comes from somebody that may have a degree or wearing a fancy suit on the television. And because you maybe trust that person or like their points of view, you'll believe it. And on the opposite end, you may absolutely hate their point of view and disbelieve everything no matter what they say and if you learn anything about information there's always some truth and there's always some guesswork or lies and there's an old saying I used to say all the time on my channel where it says if you take 99 pounds of ice cream and you mix in one pound of poop what do you have well you have a hundred pounds of poop because it doesn't matter that 99% of it was good. If you mix that one pound into that 99 pounds, it ruins the whole thing. So, 
what you think about that dream is up to you. If you think it's just a dream, that's fine. If you think there's other messages, you know, that's up to you. I'm not here to influence anybody in any way. I'm not here to tell you how to think. I show my examples, and if it resonates with you, then maybe it can help you get to another level. If you want to dismiss everything because you may not have a personal, you know, problem with me or whatever, I mean, that's that's your thing. I cannot choose your life, nor do I want to. I can only do what's right for me. So I'm sharing this information with a very few amount of people. And the ones that get it are the ones that are getting to those higher levels. It's like a video game. You're going to keep resetting until you play, finish the game. And you're going to go from level to level. And a person on the 99th level is going to know a lot more than the person that's just starting on level 1. Even if they're having fun on level 1. Maybe level 1 is the funnest part of the game. And you don't want to leave it because it's just so enjoyable. And there's not a lot of work involved. And you can kill a lot of bad guys and get a lot of prizes. Some people like the challenge of going from level to level to beat the game. Some just like to play. So it's, it's your own personal experience. I've always said that this is the last go-around, and I've heard other people say that same thing. And if you know what I'm talking about, you'll understand why I say that. And dreams like I had this morning have affected me to the point where when I woke up, it just changed and enhanced things that I believed in. And um, that's for you to decide. So I thought I'd share it with you. If you appreciate it, you can give it a thumbs up. If you want to share it, you can. Hit subscribe. Um, I don't make videos as much as I used to, but I'd like to think quality over quantity. And I'll make them and keep them up when I can. And when I find something worthy of saying, I don't want to make a video just to make a video. I want it to mean something. So this one, to me, means something, which means there's going to be somebody out there who's going to have this mean something to them as well. And I'm sure I'll see that when I read the comments. So thanks for listening. Have a great night. And I'll see you next video. Peace out.